Shout out to Low Key Izzy. This is by request. I'll put their channel link so you can head on over and subscribe. So friends, in this video, you're going to learn the top three professional actor tools to believably portray a serious acting role. One, first off, forget that it's a serious role. I, I know that sounds crazy, but if you are trying to be serious or dramatic, just instead of diving into the truth of the story, you're fighting a losing battle. As an actor for every role, try your best to forget about the outcome and focus on the truth of the story. If you focus on the truth and you, as the character, believe it, we'll see and believe it from the audience's perspective. On that topic of really believing for a drama, I've linked a lesson on how to cry on cue. Everything I'm about to tell you is applicable to every role every time with a nod to drama in particular. Two, if you respect the timing as the writer has laid it out in the script, you'll honor the genre. My own coach, Amy Linden, has reminded us in class that if you slow something down, it becomes more dramatic. And if you speed it up, it becomes more comic. For instance, watch TV and purposely compare the timing of a sitcom to the timing of a drama. Getting the timing correct is at least one key point to storytelling. On the topic of timing, I'll link a lesson here on how to work in word-perfect punctuation as you work on your role. Three, as you break down your script, pay close attention to the gut reaction as you step into your character's shoes emotionally and how does your emotional life change with each beat or transition. On the topic of script breakdown, I'll link an entire series I have called Acting A to Z on this topic. But here are the nuts and bolts. Since this video is specifically about drama with each item tack on and how does that affect my emotional life to what's listed below. Who are you? To be more specific, here's an example. To say I am a woman who has just lost her son is way more specific than I am a patient at a hospital. So think about how you feel at the top of the scene. Now in your character's life, where are you? If this is a familiar place, all the memories you experienced here live here with you. What are you doing, both physically and with your words? How are you affecting the person you're talking to, or how are they affecting you? Emotionally, physically, psychologically, and how is that affecting your goal? What do you as the character want? What do you as the character want in this scene? What is in the way of you getting this? And how do you fight to get what you want? So now I want to tell you a little personal story. When I was getting out of NYU, I have been MFA in acting from NYU. If you're just meeting me, hi, I'm Donnie Mercado. And I was auditioning for summer stock and <laughs> I just did one dramatic role after another. And the uh, person running the audition finally said, Donnie, is your life this tragic? I was like, no. Well, it just so happens that I'm an extremely empathetic person. So whenever I would dive into a character, I would just get sucked into the story of the dramatic role but don't get caught in making it sad for the sake of being sad. Make it specific, go after something specific and really dive into what's happening in the story and that will bring up the dramatic feelings if it is called for by the writer. Now this is just a nutshell, my friends. I'm going to put a link here how you can find me and we can train together via Zoom this summer. I also have another video that I will link right at the end, it'll probably be right there, where I share all of my actor tools. In, in addition, I share how to get um, a hold of my actual acting coach. All right, all right, low key Izzy, thank you for putting in your request. Anyone else?